just going to do another quick video about uh, some home processing. Uh, what you see here is the LEM number 8 575 watt meat grinder. Uh, this is just the basic model that's available. Uh, I think this is uh, one of the least expensive LEM models uh, that's available. We've got it all set up here and we used this extensively last year uh, grinding up four uh, does that we harvested uh, purely for meat production. But what we're going to do now is we're going to make some homemade ground beef out of a brisket that we purchased. Uh, I've got all of this uh, cleaned. We, we uh, cleaned all of this just because it was in storage. We went through and cleaned everything so uh, we're ready to start uh, grinding our meat and I'm gonna cut up a brisket and make some uh, fresh ground beef out of a brisket. The brisket was approximately $2.59 a pound but I feel like it's a, uh, a quality piece of meat. Uh, I've heard that it uh, adds a lot to the flavor of the ground beef if you if you grind a brisket. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. 70% um, uh, lean is about the same price and although this uh, requires uh, a bit more work, uh, again we're gonna we're gonna compare the two and, and see how much better this tastes and uh, for the effort involved, uh, we're going to see if it's if it's worth it. I'm uh, pretty sure it's going to be worth it because uh, you know where exactly what's going into your ground beef. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to this is going to be about a two or three part series of making your own ground beef. Okay. Well, what we have here is a beef brisket. This is a a whole USDA choice vacuum packaged uh, brisket from Kirkland. We got this over at uh, Costco. Price is $2.35 a pound. Uh, uh, this was packaged uh, the 3rd of July which was the day before yesterday. And we're going to cut this up. We're going to remove this, cut this up, maybe do a little bit of trimming off of the the brisket itself we're moving a little bit of the fat and then we're going to go directly into the grinder uh, for ground beef I think we're going to be doing a two grind uh, session so we're going to run everything uh, through about two times and uh, we're going to produce our own ground beef uh, for the family's usage so uh, hope you'll continue to watch and maybe you can do this at home and see exactly how it turns out so basically what I've done is uh, just to get us started is I've cut uh, half or not half probably about a third of this brisket uh, just cut it off of the big uh, chunk of meat and then I'm going to I'm gonna cut this you can see the grain I'm gonna go with the grain and cut this into little chunks that will go into the grinder uh, fairly easy they'll slide down into the grinder and grind up really nice um, this just helps to facilitate the um, the putting of the of the chunks into the grinder uh, and actually what I've noticed is there's not a whole lot of fat on this I mean there's there's some portions where it gets pretty thick but considering that uh, the majority of this brisket is 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 a lot of meat I'd say on that piece, um, that's probably 20% uh, of the of the piece of meat is fat, if not a little less. So probably all in all, this is going to be about 85% uh, uh, lean once I trim some of this off. So I'm just going to continue to to cut it into um, uh, smaller pieces that will slip down into the grinder very easily and. Uh, then we'll show you some of the grinding uh, from our grinder for making this ground meat. Okay, so we've cut about a third of the brisket into some nice manageable pieces for the grinder. Uh, we've got a bowl set up for the grinder. We've got everything set up. So now we're going to show you uh, basically the grinding process. Pretty uh, simple to make your own ground beef. <laughs> Can 
notice that it's kind of coarse coming out. And so what you can do is you can run this through a couple of times for a little finer uh, ground beef. And this little lamb, again, this is the basic model. It does really well uh, for stuff like this. Um, so if you're thinking about a, a meat grinder, the Lem products are really good. They, they make a, a really quality product. And so what you'll notice also in the ground beef is a lot of this will have some fat, but as we begin to mix it and as we begin to re-grind it, uh, that'll be more incorporated into the meat. So you'll have a, a real nice balance of fat in the meat as it, uh, as it grinds up. So pretty easy. Unlike uh, wild game processing, this brisket is fairly simple to grind up. Now, if you're doing uh, elk or deer, what you'll notice is, depending on how much of the silver skin you remove, you're still going to have a lot of connective tissue that's going to cause your grinder to, uh, to slow down. And it's going to be a much more labor-intensive process. But with this uh, brisket, it's really fairly easy. So uh, there you have it. We'll show you another video of the second ground, of the second grind. Okay, so what we did was we had our first grinding of the brisket. And if you notice, uh, the brisket or the ground meat is pretty coarse. I mean, you could you could definitely incorporate this into burgers or maybe a meatloaf or uh, meatballs or whatever it is that you were going to use the ground beef for. Uh, grill this up or, or put this on a skillet uh, for taco meat or burrito meat or what hot, what not. But to get this fat more incorporated into more of the meat, we're going to go ahead and run this through a second time and, and see how it does. And so what we'll do is we have this uh, nice reservoir up on top and you can just start to fill this up with the, the ground beef. Uh, no need to dirty up uh, a second uh, bowl. Just fill up your, your reservoir up here on top with this ground beef. Uh, this brisket, actually, this this really smells. Uh, it's got a nice smell. Uh, sometimes when I smell uh, ground beef it, uh, from the grocery store, it doesn't always smell. I've noticed it doesn't always smell like this. This is a real quality product that uh, you're producing for your family. And you're doing it at home. And, yeah, there's some labor involved. Uh, so you could uh, say, yeah, there's some trouble involved. But it's really not that hard. And once you have the equipment... Uh, you get the satisfaction of knowing that you, you saw everything that went into your ground beef. Now at the butcher, uh, depending on your butcher or your grocery store, all sorts of stuff could go into that ground beef. All sorts of scraps. And we know that this was just a brisket uh, that went into our ground beef. So uh, we're going to grind this a second time. <laughs>
so we've just gone through our second grinding. Uh, I bought some of these zip vac uh, bags and I've got a nice I would guess three four pound bag of ground beef that I'm going to seal date and something like this for my family would probably will make this into hamburger patties and, and grill uh, so I'll probably put that family pack this will uh, definitely make us uh, six to eight uh, patties of ground beef so uh, that's how I'm going to package it and then a smaller package I'm just going to make it in a in a smaller package maybe for tacos or uh, spaghetti or uh, something along that line so uh, there's no waste I'm, I'm, I'm pre-planning even the meals as I ground uh, the ground beef as I ground the brisket okay just wanted to show you guys something um, when you get a brisket this is the other portion that I cut and if you look inside this meat you'll see here there's some some large sections uh, of fat now if you want a real juicy burger if you want uh, a lot of fat in your burger then there's no need to do this but um, I'm noticing on the first grind that a lot of that that meat looks really light colored there's a lot of fat mixed into there and so what I'm doing is I'm just taking this um, and slicing out some of the fat so you can take some big portions and unfortunately when you buy this meat uh, you're paying for the fat also so um, it really you can see that's probably about a two to three uh, ounce piece of pure fat and when you're talking uh, 239 a pound uh, you divide that by 16 uh, 239 a pound and come up with the ounce weight for your meat and you can determine just exactly what this fat uh, is costing you uh, I have some dogs I also have um, some other uses that I can do with this fat so I'm gonna take this out and not incorporate it into the ground beef and so uh, that's your choice it, it, it's uh, it's purely up to you I, I'll leave some of the fat again so that the the ground beef is ground meat is not drying out but uh, how much of that fat you want to uh, incorporate uh, with your from your brisket into your ground beef is purely up to you but it's very simple to remove it if you don't want that in there it's very simple to remove it so as I just showed you you can actually carve through here carve through here and remove a lot of that fat and you could end up with a really uh, lean uh, grind of ground meat so just thought I would show you guys that as well okay so we've gone through two grinds already on this brisket and I put the smallest plate that I have for this uh, lem number eight on here uh, the holes are really small I'm gonna move the camera real quick so you guys can see that the size of those holes are really small this is gonna be the third grinding uh, of this ground meat um, it, it has taken some time but again uh, there's nothing quite like uh, the satisfaction you get of of producing uh, a quality product for your family now if this was something that you harvested it would be even more uh, satisfying but um, this was a brisket that I got from uh, Costco again to make some ground beef and we're gonna do a, a final third grinding so it should be really fine and should make the ground beef even more tender.
Okay, so I finished uh, grinding up the brisket and just wanted to show you guys that uh, probably a good third, uh, probably even more because I didn't uh, trim the fat totally out of that brisket, uh, was uh, fat. And you can see there the pile of fat uh, that was left over from that brisket. Uh, so it's considerable. Uh, I think it's probably at least uh, two to three pounds of pure fat that was in that brisket. So um, at 239 a pound, um, um, basically that's uh, 239 times three, that'd be six. 40 would be a dollar 20. So you're talking about seven dollars and 20 cents uh, minimal. Uh, spent on pure fat alone so just to give you an idea of what it's like uh, grinding brisket into uh, ground beef but uh, this last batch I really did a lot of uh, trimming and you can see how red it turned out you can see that it's really uh, pretty lean uh, ground beef and so um, the taste is uh, really excellent on brisket ground beef so uh, and then again, I uh, encourage you to try this on your own so that you know uh, exactly what uh, is going into the products that you're feeding for your family. And it gives you um, uh, a different uh, quality of ground beef. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you subscribe. And uh, we we'll hope you watch uh, some of our other videos. We'll uh, 